Hello folks! This time with Untold Africa we're going to explore Mole National Park, a vast protected area located in the north of Ghana. This place is special for two reasons. Reason number one is one of the few parks in Africa where you are allowed to walk and track the wildlife yourself. Reason number two, thanks to the Italian cooperation, after many years of absence, they found again the lions. This means they are no more locally extinct. Let's go and see. Good morning. It's afternoon now. Yeah. Uh, okay. We are host of Farouk Dubiure, the executive director. I'm Elena Chitino from Vita. Uh, the people there. Yeah. Uh, you come and feel them. Uh, okay. Uh, we are aware of your house. Okay, uh, thank you. Right yes, thank you. After three hours trip, we arrived at Mole National Park and behind us we have a group of elephants. You can see them right now, but we'll try to film them with a drone. Now we're waiting for some refreshments and after that we'll go for a nice safari and I hope we'll have the elephants one meter behind us. Are you ready? Super ready! Great! My name is um, Dubiru Umaru Farouk. I'm the manager of Mule National Park. In terms of size, it is 4,577 square kilometers and spans across five administrative districts and two regions, the northern region and the upper west region. Mode repellent own. <laughs> We're about to start our first safari at Morley National Park. Our mission is to identify what kind of animals live here. The main problem here are the fringe communities, people that hunt wild animals to survive, the so-called bushmeat. This is a major problem that threatens the ecosystem and that may cause the extinction of various species. One of these is the lion. It's been many years since the last time it was spotted. But thanks to an Italian project, some trap cameras were placed in different spots and they eventually found the lion. However, it's almost impossible to randomly see it during a safari here because there are not so many of them around. We'll see if we're lucky enough. How many times did you have to shoot an animal with that rifle? No, never shot. Never? Never use this rifle to shoot any animal. Oh, okay, good. Not, not even for protection? Yeah, well, for protection, uh, maybe exchange of uh, firearm with uh, the poachers. Ah, with the poachers. Yeah, sometimes you shoot to scare him and to get him arrested, but not to kill. Uh, the park is huge. Fences are becoming um, outmoded because um, it's expensive to build in the first place and very expensive to maintain. It's not a good idea to put fences around this huge place. We just spot the elephants and we decided to go there on foot. How are you doing? Are you ready for this adventure? I have the proper shoes. A pair of espadrillas, look at that. That's great. Let's see how we end up here. We are risking our shoes already. It's okay, we can do it like that before we get to the elephants. They are exactly 50 meters from us. <laughs> Thanks to Elenia for her correct <laughs> advice. So, what kind of <laughs> shoes I have to try? So, this one, yes, of course, don't worry, don't worry. He's going forward in the meantime, while we are stuck in the mud. You 
They should have proper shoes in place like that. Geniale! <laughs> Guys, I'm feeling sick. <laughs> he lost his slipper as well. You're supposed to have safari on the car normally. I'm crying from laughing. Yeah, we're not going out of the car. <laughs> he lost his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> he has no more shoes and our sneakers are knee deep in the mud. I don't know where to wipe out my tears away. <laughs> The guy just told us there are no snakes in these sludgy waters. What looks like a green meadow is in reality a swamp and we have our feet up to the ankles inside it. But there are no snakes. This is part of the adventure itself. Oh my god, look at that. Seriously. I asked Lilenia what to wear this afternoon and she said, okay, what's the matter? That's fine. But the grass was too high and we had to withdraw. Pull back! I'll chase away those restless Maybe we have the elephants. Turn your blue skies into they could be right there. We just saw what that antelope no elephants. I've lost my hope. I'm telling you that a driver of the car that we drove in called me that he has seen some of the elephants behind us. Behind the car? Yeah, where we just started from. Right, so yes. we try to track them again yeah. now. There it was. We eventually tracked the elephant. I was so thrilled that my camera was all shaking. I could see the elephant in its majesty and size right a few meters in front of me. Why someone would dare to shoot at this animal for the sole purpose of cutting his tusks away? I felt so grateful because in Ghana you can find the only walking safari where you can actually get out of the car and spot the wildlife just right there. They must do go out, just as the communities also have access to the park where they can push some of the animals and carry on other illegal activities. So these are the challenges we are facing without fences. The major illegal activity um, is poaching of the animals by hunters from the free communities. And uh, in recent times, the logging of rosewood and other commercial wood species in the park. The logging has been taking place for the past six, seven years. What we do record in the park is revenge killing. When the elephants do go out to raid their farms, and because in this country we have a policy where uh, farmers are not compensated for property damage, including crops, the farmers who fall victim to these raids get so angry, sometimes to the extent that they engage uh, hunters to trace and kill some of the elephants. But we do record revenge hunting or killing of elephants. This is our second day of safari. Are we ready?
Yeah, we have lion, but uh, recently we we on camera. We've been catching some of them on camera, but personally, it's difficult to sight them in the park. The last thing they explained me is the story of the bush clearance and wild beast killing during the British colonial rule. The Cheshire fly was infesting the area, so by that time, they thought the best way to get rid of that was to slaughter all the animals that hosted the parasites. Biodiversity was thus severely affected, and the Cheshire fly is still there. My journey to Molly National Park is over, but I hope that with this video people know how it is important to fight for wildlife preservation, a treasure that was given to us to take care of constantly.